Sulawesi with Makassar as its capital city is recognized having a beautiful nature panorama, cultural, artistry, and bewitched customs. South Sulawesi occupied by three big tribes which are Makassar, Bugis, and Toraja. South Sulawesi area can be reached by air transfer station through Hasanuddin International Airport. Also, you can enter by passing sea transportation, which is in Sukarno-Hatta Seaport. If you want to reach South Sulawesi by land passing, it has been developed the Sulawesi Trans Road, which are pleasant and safety. Far from the coast of Makassar city, found it there is culture pledge as history heritage as fossil form. It's the Fort Rotterdam or called Benteng Ujung Pandang, which was to be the strongest and wealthiest kingdom history in Celebes Island in 17th century, which is Kingdom of Goa. The Fort Rotterdam at first built in the year of 1545 by the 10th King of Goa, recognized as E. Mandrigao Daing Bontolakio. This fortress has Portuguese designs and in addition for its basement appearing like a, a turtle. Building inside the fortress beside used as the obvious and information service center, and tourism official environment, also there used to be a museum called Museum Negeri Provinsi Sulawesi Selatan La Galigo, which taken from the name of a cultural observer figure, a famous also statesman in classic theory of culture in South Sulawesi. Pautere traditional seaport is one of important exponents for Makassar formerly to be a commercial town. Pautere becomes as the history witness of the existence and dignity of Finnish sailboat as Bugis Makassar traditional ship. Although in traditional impression, but Pautere still stands by and grow well as one of the Makassar gateway and even for East Indonesia area. Nowadays, the unique Finisi it says also be owned by seller and sea transportation entrepreneur from other foreign countries. The Finisi boat is more attractive when equipped by mechanically and modern communication device. For those who want to enjoy the panorama in coastal area, both the report are over what they look for. That is why both local and foreign tourists wish to sail by Finisi and enjoy the sunset panorama among the Finisi pillars in Pautere Seaport. Sari Beach area, it's not like it used to be. 
Losari is one of the icon of Makassar City, have experience of the revitalization and nowadays have transformed with its face to be more charming for coast recreation object. A pavilion park and called Anjungan is built it and provided with the recreation facilities with representative for pleasing for you and the whole family. In this area, you feel no worry. You can enjoy the sunset beauty that is famous of all over the world. Sunset in Losari Beach. Trans Studio is one of the modern touring objects which is placed around Losari Beach, Makassar. You and family will enjoy with a kind of a lot of camps and international entertainment. A lot of people visiting these places, it's not only from Makassar, but also from all city around Indonesia. Are the beautiful panorama that is seen in Bantimuro, a beautiful of friendship between human being and their surrounding. The waterfall is in between Levy of Groove as the ruthless and be very pleasant environmental fascination. It's such a luck and bliss for Indonesian nation because it has become recognizing by international world. At first, when we last publicized the Journal General Memorial title The Malaya Archipelago in 1869. It seems this experience resource properties not even have come to the governmental attention but also all Indonesia people and world society through the nature enchantment to treat. Exploring cultural plage object in Maros Regency, it will be founded a Leang Leang prehistorical park. Located in Leang Leang Village, countryside Kalabirang, sub-district Bantimurung, about 40 kilometers from Makassar City. Leang Leang Prehistorical Park consists of two caves, that is Petai Cave and Petakere Cave. Both caves look like clay fruits, apart both more or less 100 meters. Rock of Compiler Cave of Petae and Petakere Cave is rock of limestone or white chromatic limestone and a few seal. Archaeology has found that Cave Petae in the form of picture of deer hawk is jumping and had the large arrow in its heart. There are also hand marks of the size between 10 till 12 centimeters. According to the archaeologists, Hand marks, ancient survival, deer hawk paintings, and another exit finding in Leang Leang Prehistorical Park, Maros, rapidly increased about 500 till 100 and 500 years ago. Survival citizens of the tribe are Toale or To Leang, that's alive in groups of 30 till 50 people. Leang Leang becomes the longest share from overall history of region area of South Sulawesi. Handmark founded at Cave Petakere, their hope painting and ancient pig's wheel has proven that the live human dead years did hunts for life and gather at famous food did cultivation by using limestone caves as their residence. After all, inside the cave Petai and Petakere, Found 28 red color hand seal, 
among other 12 left hand and 16 right hands. Six hand marks war arms. Hand marks and deer pig paintings in both caves by archaeologists is assumed as the depiction of economy, social life, and society belief. The Ujung Batu Beach is one of maritime tourism objects and becoming the pride of Baru Regency. Located in Chifo village of Tsumpang Binangai, about 10 km from capital of Baru Regency. This tourism object has beautiful and sloped coast with fast sand rock as tool for sunning. This location, you can see the fisherman boats that anchor and lower course return to bring hole or merrily bring visitor traces to coast each. Almost every day, Ujung Batu Beach is visited by tourists, especially on vacation and weekends. Development of tourism object is uninterruptedly done by the government of Baru Regency. The openness and immunity given to make private sectors or infrastructure there to invest many kind of business field and also for tourism sector. Another promising natural tourism object is area of Dutungeng Island, which is located in Silelang Village, 48 km from Baru Town. This Dutungeng Island has 9 hectares width with the beautiful white sand rock. To equip the freshman tool at Dutungeng Island, now available facilities of 10 unit lodging with Bugina's traditional design and restaurant with local and international menus. Classic elegant touching is matched with complete facilities in all environment, makes all the visitor gradually leaving the Dutungeng Island. With the charm of nature scenery, Dutungeng Island now becomes one of the favorite destinations for society group, family and organization to hold a meeting, even deliberation or other asset. Various fields of business effort still welcome wide for potential tourism development object of Dutungeng Island. Why don't you try it? Palete Cape is located in sub-district of Taneteriatang, about 12 km from Watampone town, the capital of Bone Regency. It is said Palete Cape at the period of Empire of Bone was built as one of penalization place for everyone who did the custom transgression, especially adultery crime or Tau Malawe. The trespasser was shrouded and tied up by a stone and then engulfed to sea with knees by prominent custom and society. That was formerly case, old story that recorded at inner person society of Bone. With the strong history background and special nature character, Bone destinates the tourism object area of Palete Cape to be tourism a region and pioneer the tourism industry of Bone Regency. In this area, you'll see the panorama of sea and the hill with the different character. It's well guaranteed for being comfort in this area because available very representative facilities like restaurant, lodge, 
swimming pool and the others. Leja. That is the name of this tourism object in Sopeng Regency. A natural phenomenon with special natural character, which is a hot spring sour existence. Entering Leja area, you'll find some swimming pool with warm water. Leja, that is in protected forest area, fully visited by people, especially a day off or weekend. Leja is aparting about 44 kilometers from Watan Sopeng City, offering beautiful natural glamour, cold air, and warm feeling of water, which is convinced as the therapy for the disease of rheumatism and pruritis. This specialty and unique sign charms local and foreign tourists repeatedly come pay a visiting in Leja. Don't be hesitate. If you like to have some dress in Leja, it's available some lodge with the Boogie Sopeng typical building. The warm water will non-stop trimming coming from higher area not far from swimming pool. A big tree root hot water race along with its white smoke. This unique phenomenon of Leja will always remain its charming and its water warm even in a dry season. It is located at Tana Toa village in Kajang district about 56 kilometers from the capital city of Bulukumba Regency. This hour is led by a customary leader, Kali Amatoa, as a spiritual leader. He is regarded and honored as a whole man and the part of his leadership is for life entering this area. We have to use plate clothes as artifacts to the native people and a brotherhood symbol. When you step in on the Bumi Telu Limpoi Sinjai, you'd soon know that the Batu Pake Gojeng becomes a recognized icon of history and tourism object of Xinjiang Regency. Batu Pake Gojeng is located in the chief village of Biringere, sub-district of North Xinjiang, is more or less 2 kilometers from Xinjiang downtown. Batu Pake means stone chisil. Wild Gojeng is the place name where the Batu Pake found. The higher land, you'll see the stony corpse as the amazing masterpiece result. The stony corpse keeps staying as it now in the location of slope soil. The stone's age are very old. Its surface even also is distincting.
Batu Pake Gojeng is expressing history note about the existence of former ancient life in this area, awarded the existence as one of the ancient fossil sites, and to preserve it. Batu Pake Gojeng area is created as a balmy recreation garden to be visited. The Magic Word from Tanadoang for those who love adventures, distance is not a matter. The dream to have a visit in land of Doang or Tana Doang, which is the other name of island of Selaya Regency, can be reached by land, sea, or even by air through the airport of Arupala Padang Selayar from Sultan Hasanuddin International Airport, Makassar. But if you are not in a hurry, there's another option. To reach Tanadoang, we can sail in an overpass vehicle called ferry boat. From Makassar as the province capital, we are about 3 hours driving to Bulukumba Regency. From Bulukumba seaport called Tanjung Bira, we can sail across the sea about one and a half hours to reach the Pamatata seaport in Selayar Island. From the ferry boat, the beautiful panorama can be viewed along the journey. Baloya Beach Located apart from the main island of Sulawesi, making the Tana Doang is just like a hidden pearl. In fact, it is not. As one of maritime based regencia of South Sulawesi, islands of Selayar have taken many attention from global community for its amazing natural panorama. The National Sea Park of Taka Bonerate has been famous to all over the world, but it's not the only one pride of Selayar. There are still many other beautiful beaches in Tanadoang as the tourism object. Jasein, Bone Siala Beach, Jeneya Beach, and Baloya Beach. This seashore area over coolness, natural beauty, and white sands lying. It's great to have a swim and sunbathing along the beach. Baloya Beach has about 9 km distance from the capital of Selaya Regency called Banteng City. It has a new face now. The industrial tourism nuance has colored the surrounding over there. They're already building many kind of representative facilities to give more comfortable feeling when visiting Baloya Beach. National Sea Park Taka Bonerate has the third largest atoll in the world, about 220,000 hectares. It's a fun, ferris high sea built, unique, and interesting species. Consists of 21 islands, and there are seven of them are inhabited. The people will live for Taka Bonerate through Patumbukan Ferry Port to Tinabo Island or the other island by speed pot, it takes only three hours. lies in the western part of Wajo Regency. It is exactly at the subdistrict of Tempe, about 7 kilometers from Sengkang town toward the Walanai River bank. 
from the river, the trip to Tempelik can be reached in 30 minutes by motorboat Khalid Katinting. The fisherman village with strong atmosphere of prickiness stretching along the edge of the lake. It is a quite an interesting sight to see the fishermen catching fish in the middle of the lake which equips an area of 1300 hectares with floating houses as the background. From the attitude, Tempe Lake looks like a giant west basin surrounded by three regions sea, those are Wajo, Sopeng, and Sitra. The stage of planting mulberry to the process of silk cloak and making becomes the attractive appeal for the tourists who visit Wajo Residency. For the silk production, especially the production of clothes, sarongs, shirts, ties, and various kinds of souvenirs, shops, various colors of beautiful motifs are available. The favorite motif in general are the Bugis motif and the Toraja carving motif. Mata Buntu Waterfall is one of the object tourism in the east of Luwu, get potential and arranged so that to become the best tourism object in this area. Mata Buntu Tourism Object lies Wasa Pondo District and the unique this tourism spot because it has a lot of waterfall resort so that always is called upper 33 waterfall. The water flows without stopping to under the stone is wonderful scandalous. Ide Soroako Beach is lies at the seashore of the site like Matano. Now become the best tourism spot is crowded. Visited by tourists, either from East Luwu and the surrounding, even to from Makassar, the colored water and clear become this area comfortable as a swimming location for children until adult. Toraja has much to offer a visitor. Fascinating historical and cultural sites are scattered through spectacular scenery. A few hundred meters outside Rantepao or Makale, you will find traditional Tonkonan house.
Londa is located about 11 kilometers to the south of Arantepao, of 7 kilometers from Makale. This site is a cliffless burial site of an ancient Torajan 13, carriers of Tau Tau Quart the Graves. Chaslet in stone, hills was encycled by local resident rice fields areas. Londa strong graph will present a perfect collaboration between art, death, and custom rituals to your eyes. Quoted by a crop of wood tools, so Kali Tau Tau, trust as a the house for the lead souls, this traditional funeral complex of Tana Toraja peoples will represent a deep enough a magical impression. Sakdan Tobarana lies in the village of Sakdan Malimbong district of Sakdan Balusu. It's about 16 km north of Rantepau in this village. There are some traditional houses or tungkonan with rice barns or alang that arrange belong to the nobleman Langi Parapa which was used as the government center in the ancient time. This village is known also a traditional weaving center and has a nice view surrounding by Satan River. White water rafting which organized by Indosela Expedition, the professional adventure travel group will take you on a journey through beautiful forests and traditional villages until you reach the river where three to four hours of serious white water rafting fun is waiting to be had. Explore also ancient grave area which in the form of a calf with human skills had and also that cast in form of custom house of Toraja or Tongonan. Feel the musical aura which encircle this cemetery area. Come and visit one of the beautiful countryside in South Province of Tana Toraja and enjoy the charming of countryside panorama and the luxury of its Tongkonan Palawa with ten of buffalo horn which decorating its front pillar. Tondo, tondo, tondo. 